Now let's see if we can at least sign one user up, meaning if we can at least save one user. Okay, so let's go ahead and click out of here. So inside of our sign up, in fact, before we go that do that, let's go to our database handler here. Let's create a function, a method. I'm going to call this public void. I'm going to say create or sign up user. Okay. I'm going to say string. Okay. So we're going to pass a few things here. I'm going to say string first name string last name string. Let's see. Uh, it's going to be user name string password string location and string gender or such like that okay all right to say string insert as such I'm going to create insert into plus and say constants or const like that make sure we are referencing our constant class here okay and we are going to call the user table use a table as such say plus open parentheses I'm gonna pass in and say constants again I'm gonna say user say first name comma plus constant dot last name plus comma plus user first name last name let's say username so const dot username I think we missed our username let's go back to our constant here copy this let's add it's users username okay let's go back say username whoops this needs to change also this is gonna be username as such user name it has to be exactly the same all right we're getting there get okay, username let's say plus comma and say const that password comma plus const dot location and such again we are getting there then plus constant that gender okay say plus then we're gonna say plus again we're gonna say values six exclamation marks one okay because we have one two three four five six finalize with our semicolon this is a SQL query that we'll insert into our database well the database name is going to be users table so this is when we are using the constant class which has the users table right so this prevents us from having to write users all the time if we need to and make mistakes so this saves us from that perfect so that's what we're doing here we're constructing our SQL code we're constructing our SQL query that will insert to a database that will insert a user to our user database so essentially that will sign users up all right so then I'm gonna create a prepared statement I'm gonna call this prepared statement is equal to I'm going to call the connection db connection dot prepare statement and I'm going to pass in the insert 
Now we're going to have an issue here because we have to, to one add an exception surrounded by try and catch like that. Okay. And notice this DB connection here we are getting from our DB connection that we created at the top here, which we're getting. In fact, let's go ahead and use this get DB connection. That's probably the best. Say so get DB connection like this. Okay, that's much better. Okay, so we are invoking this DB connection, which returns us the connection that we need to start putting things together. All right, so once we have it prepared, we can start preparing our statement. We can say prepare that set string. Okay, the first index is going to be one, and it's going to be what? First name, and we're going to pass the first name, which is being passed here. I'm going to copy this a few times and paste it in. All right, so second one is going to be last name. Third is going to be username. Fourth is going to be password. And then we have location, six, we have gender, okay, one too many there. Okay. Once we have that, we can just go and say call prepared statement that execute update as such. And voila. So this means now we can now use this sign Sign use sign up user and pass in all these strings and then we'll be able to save to database. Okay, let's see how to use this. Let's go to our sign up controller inside here. If you remember, let's get our sign up controller. Open in scene builder. There it is, our sign up controller. So we're gonna fetch all of this information, everything, and then when they click sign up, we're gonna save this user into our database. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Get rid of that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to get the login button, which is or oh, sign up button, I should say. So sign up button dot set on click on action. I'm going to just say event such use lambda here. And for now, I'm just going to go ahead and instantiate. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and say here, database handler, I'm going to call database handler is equal to new database handler such. Okay, so now we have that. So inside, I'm going to say database handler dot sign user up, sign up user, and you notice we have to pass all those strings there. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and say for first name dot get text. Okay. And then last name, we're going to say last name dot get text. And then we say username, I'm going to say username dot get text. And then the password, I'm going to say password dot get text. And then location for now, I'm, just, I'm going to say location. Sign up location. Looks like we didn't have our sign up location set up here. Let's go back to our sign up. Open in builder here. Let's see why is it that we didn't get our location created. Let's create click on location and let's go to controller here. Looks like we didn't wire up our location. That's totally fine. Let's go to code. Let's say sign up location like this. Gonna save. It's gonna be saved. Now we're gonna go and say view, show skeleton, and we're gonna go and we need to get the location. Where is it? Oops, that was a mistake. Let's. <laughs> This has to be actually inside here. That's why I wasn't able to see like that. Save 
And now if you go to view, we are going to be able to see sign up location somewhere, hopefully. And there it is. So we're going to copy this sign up location here. Get rid of that and go back here. Okay, we can go, let's manually do this FX, FXML, private JF text field, sign up location. I think that's what we called it. Okay, so we're going to say sign up location such. I get text. For some reason, it's not getting. Let me. There it is. Sign up. Sign up location is there. Let's rebuild this whole thing here. Okay, so we have issues here. Let's see what is the problem. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to pass female just to simplify things for us here. Just to make sure, let me let me copy once again here just to see if this is going to work. There we go. Now it's better. Sometimes it takes, takes a little minute to show everything up. All right, so we have everything now ready. So now what we need to do is when we click the sign button, sign up button, we should go ahead and invoke the database handler, which then we call the sign up user and we pass all of this information and hopefully that will save in our database. Now to make sure that we can see this working, <laughs> hopefully it works, we're going to see, let's use the users tables here. I'm going to call right click say select row and so now you can see it's all empty which means there's nothing there and if with any luck if we run this application here we should be able to then add something okay so that just means we don't need we're gonna go and say sign up we are inside of our sign up let's see if this is gonna work I'm gonna say Paolo the shown PD shown as such. I'm gonna give a password, and that's totally fine. I'm gonna say here Spokane, Washington. All right, let's see if this works. Say sign up, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work, folks. It says here class not found exception MySQL DB. Right, so the thing that we forgot to do, well, this says class not found, MySQL GDB driver, it's because we need to actually add the library, right? Remember that MySQL driver library jar file that we have to have in order for this to work. <laughs> to do that, we're gonna go back to our IntelliJ here, say file, say project, and what we need to do here is to add, say library, I'm gonna say add, I'm gonna to go to where I put all of this greatness stuff here, my SQL script, and there it is. This is very important. We need my SQL connector. That's very, very important as you saw here. Say okay, and we're gonna say apply, and okay again. If you notice here, if you open now, we have this my SQL connector connected here. So that's very important. Now, if you save and run, hopefully, hopefully folks, this will run and we will be able to see things working. Ah, oh, developing, developing, developing. Okay, let's go to sign up. I'm gonna say Paolo again, be shown, be shown. You can put it whatever you want. In this case, I'm gonna just say my password, Spokane, Washington, and there we go. Let's see if this works, folks. So we are back here inside of our database users let's refresh and there we go well apparently i'm a female <laughs> but that's okay that's okay so we were able to save our first user into our database this is awesome this is great so we're connected to our database we saved our first user and life is good indeed perfect
Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, so in the next video, we will continue working on our application here. I'll see you next.